serious relief. We've um, heard that one of our rears has dashed to Aspley Guys. Um, I've tried to spread the word. He, he, they, two of them escaped uh, a couple of days ago. Um, I've been, we've been worried sick. We've been up and down looking for them. Uh, we've heard rumours of where they've been. Um, we finally heard that uh, they're at Aspley Guys, or one of them is at Aspley Guys in a barn. God knows how they got so far. They must have been running like anything. Um, so uh, let's just hope that we can catch it. Uh, I've had to tell people that they're quite sort of friendly birds, but uh, the truth is they're not overly friendly. And if they want to kick, by God, they could kick. Right, come on, darling. Well, I'm trying to put the sock over his head first. Okay, oh. okay I've know. got it. Oh. It's going to kick me somewhere very okay, bright if you don't on. get over its head. What's that? Okay, hold on. Oh. I don't mind whether or not they're exotic or, or domestic. I just absolutely adore animals. I can't really say no to them. If I'm offered them, I can't really say no. So we've ended up with, I suppose, around 200, 250 different animals. Lots of different species. Uh, it's like a miniature jungle. <laughs> yeah. We enjoy working for husbands and Sarah. I mean, Sarah and I, we look more like sisters than anything else. I mean, we all share secrets and we get on like a house on fire. And, and I look up at Esmond, I see him as a very important figure. Hector, happy days! There's always something uh, different to go and see. There's always something different to love you. Uh, there's always something different to, to, to comfort you if, 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 if one's depressed. And um, the love that, that each one gives is, is absolutely unique. The costs are absolutely horrific. I suppose over a year period would have ended up spending 25,000 on their upkeep, on food, on vets bills. That's not even including um, purchasing the animals, the, the, the monkey, at, Two and a half thousand, um, the hyacinth at sort of eleven thousand, all sorts of things. The llamas are, are, are terribly expensive to buy. <coughs> Look, no, Charlie, you can't do that. <coughs> Charlie, <coughs> I'm lucky in the fact that we've got a very, very good rep reputation in what we do, breeding Bengal kittens. Um, we sell to some extremely famous people, some extremely rich people, and the money that we get for them is quite considerable. And thank God that helps to pay for an awful lot of it. Just five years ago, I started from a three-bedroom, semi-detached council house. No money at all. Penniless, penniless. And uh, just bought two rescued cats, rescued Bengals from, uh, a, because I had had a, a nervous breakdown, my mother paid for them. And uh, over a five-year period, our name is seen by high society as a designer label. Were the children at the riding school upset to see her go, or please? Um, a bit of both, I think. Were they? <laughs> Lita, come out the way. Lita! 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 Come on, you. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> darling! Hello! Hello, honey! Gorgeous! There's not many of us. There's only me and myself and Pippa um, and Esmond, who look after the, all the animals. Um, and I feel that, and I've said to Esmond that, you know, when are we going to stop? And he said a little while ago that we weren't going to, we weren't going to have any more. But no, when we get phone calls, um, he, he can't seem to resist. <laughs> Come on, darling. Come on. I received a phone call yesterday of pot-bellied pig causing havoc at this riding school stables. Um, it's getting under the horse's feet, it's butting the children. 
and uh, if I don't do something about it, it's going to be put down. So that's coming this afternoon. I didn't dare tell her about that. Here she comes. Okay, you take the bowl in. Okay, shake it, sir, quickly. There you go. There you go. You come out. Tilly! We're very lucky now, Pippa. Basically, she's been willing to give up her life in, in, in Wickham, uh, her friends, her family, um, although, of course, she keeps in touch with them. And she made the decision to come up here to Mil Milton Keynes and uh, help us with the animals. Oh, I don't really get on that well with people. I, I much prefer animals, because animals, they don't really take the mickey out of you and they don't talk behind your back. Well, excluding the birds, but... The love the animals give, I mean, it's absolutely amazing. Um, I think Pippa quite likes the uniform, to be honest. Um, she gets an awful lot of attention from, from uh, young men, and uh, um, it's quite uh, professional when important clients, members of the royal family, um, come to visit us. I think it's, it's, uh, it's, quite a good, um, it's quite a good image. Pippa likes the uniform. It's smart, it's functional, it can be cleaned easily. Um, and, uh, as I said, the young men really do like it. Jerry, Jenny, hi, darlings. The estate that, I, that I've built up is worth about three million pounds, and all of that money is left to my animals. It had to be done very carefully because I want to look after Sarah and Pippa as well. Um, so they're mentioned quite heavily in it, but only on the condition that they uh, spend the, re the re re remainder of their lives looking after all the animals, all the pets that we've built up. The only real pleasure that I get out of life and out of living is my animals. I don't bother going out anymore. I don't need to go out. I've got everything that I want on, on my estate. Um, my, my animals are here, this is where I want to be, this is where I want to stay. I don't need to go to pubs, I don't need to go to clubs, I don't need to do what other 30-year-olds do. Um, everything I've got is here. I'm quite happy for him to go into the most delicate part of my mouth and kiss me. When he does a poo, he does a poo. Right there. Hiya, Sydney. What are you doing? You're a bit cold. We've got a snake, which I'm not too keen on. Uh, it's taken me quite a long time to get used to. That's only because she's 23 foot long. She's the, she's the country's biggest Burmese python. Mm. Uh, the snake is about ten times bigger than Sarah, and uh, to keep the snake warm when we first rescued her, um, she actually slept in our bed with us. This huge python, 23 foot of python, slept in the bed with us. Um, I was later told that was extremely dangerous for Sarah, and that the snake would automatically come to the warmest but smallest person, and so Sarah could have got eaten. But, uh, she, yes, she nearly left me over that. Mm -hmm. 